Good morning. Hello, monsters. Hello, crazy wieners. Shivy. How are you? Let's go, come on. Yeah. Woo. Oh, what is up, guys? Howdy freaking do. So today, got to make a little video before we go to work. And I'm making a tat video today also at the shop, but that is separate. And we got to go check up on Alex because Alex tomorrow is getting his venomous inspection. Finally, that is really freaking cool. I'm super pumped for that. It's been a long time coming. Just waking up, checking on all the critters, making sure everybody's doing okay. Khaleesi, how you doing, mama? Everybody's looking good in here. Ready for some new huge enclosures. I'm so ready to start building stuff. I'm like obsessed. I can't I can't even sleep at night because I'm up all night just like looking at materials and just getting ideas together, trying to figure out how I want to set up the new property. But what I really wanted to show you guys today, a lot of people on Instagram, every day I wake up in the morning. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you are. Tyler Nolan Tattoos. I post stories on there every day and I've been trying to post stories on here more also. So make sure you're subscribed on this page as well, guys. Hit that freaking subscribe button. Go hit that notification button. So now Onyx has not been in his cage in, what is it, today's 25th? It's been nine days since Onyx has been out of his cage. He does have a cage, look. See, this is Onyx's big old vision cage. It's a vision, what, 432, I'm pretty sure. Don't uh, quote me wrong, but it's, yeah, it's the 430 something. It is the biggest vision cage that they make. He's got a little heater on the bottom. He's got a heat light. Obviously nothing's set up right now, but this is his awesome enclosure. He is never even in, like literally ever. It's weird. Like he does not like it at all. So we let him out and we let him walk around the house. And so what he does, this is his little spot right over here. So he literally, he loves this cat tree. Look at him. He's just in his cat tree, sleeping, being a sweet little boy. Hello, sir. Would you like to wake up for me? Hello, what do you want to say hi to So this is Onyx, my black throat monitor, who is almost a year old now. I was told he was, his hatch date was October of last year. We're pretty much over October. So it's safe to say that he is a year old. And he's a good size, super pretty light colors. That's why I got him. And he's just the best freaking animal that I have, honestly. Like, he is absolutely amazing. So, it started out as we let him crawl around the house throughout the day. And then we would put him up in his cage for the end of the day. And he would he would paw at the glass and he wanted to come out all the time. So, Giorno would feel bad and just let him back out. So, he was never in his cage. And then he found this spot in the house. He loves this. So, when the sun comes up in the morning, the first several hours of the day he has direct sunlight on this cat tree and then same thing with the barons racers they love the direct sunlight in the morning as well but onyx just loves to just bask right on this cat tree the cat tree is the coolest freaking thing for him he's obsessed with it and then even during the day he'll get down he'll come down here throughout the day he will literally he will walk around oh what just scared you huh what scared you sir he will literally he will just walk around my house Walk all around the whole thing, walk around the couch, walk around where his old cage is, walk around the whole freaking house. And he just goes right back up onto his tree. And he has literally everything he needs pretty much right here. Look, we got a little water bowl. Gianna fills up his, it's got water in it. Gianna fills up his water for him every day. This is his absolute favorite spot. At night even, I've put a couple of videos. I've put actually clips on YouTube already. He just sleeps in this little thing at night. This is his favorite spot. That little area right there. It stays nice and warm in this room also. It's cut off from the rest of my house. This is like a little Florida room. There's no AC in it. So it stays nice and warm throughout the night. And if it does get cold, which it hasn't gotten any cold nights yet, I can put just a little tiny space heater in here for him and he'll be totally fine at night. So there's really no need for him to be in a cage at all. And even at the next house, we've been trying to figure out a way. That's another really cool thing about the new place is uh, I have to wait till we move in so I can see where the sun comes up, where it goes down and figure out a nice area of the house to put his new basking spot. And he's pretty much just gonna be like an in the house lizard for now. 
until further notice. Maybe it's going to change one day, maybe his temperament is going to change and things are going to get a little bit different. But as of right now, he gets along with the dogs, he gets along with the cat. We literally leave the house and go run errands and do whatever we have to do. We leave him out of the cage at all times. He's never in his cage. Like I said, he has not been in his cage in over nine days, not even for five minutes. Because this is his spot, man. He loves it. He just sits here, hangs out. Look, he walk, looks at the dogs running around being crazy. Travis! Hit it up, Trav! He loves it, man. Cat trees for your lizards. It's the best idea ever. All right, so now let's head over to Alex's house. He is prepping for his venomous inspection so we're gonna just run over there real quick we're gonna see how he's looking make sure he's got everything checked off his list i have to show him my bite protocol and how to do that and then that's a wrap guys it's time to go to work I'm tattooing a peony on my friend kristen today look see this this is also a screen door that i use and if we are feeling if we're gonna be gone for like a few hours and we want to make sure he just stays in this room and doesn't can't run around the house, knock something over, hurt himself, something like that. That's pretty much the main reason. Dude, we just close this door. Easy peasy. See, look at that. They love each other. Hey, Toe, is that your monitor? That's so cute. You guys are awesome. But they love each other, literally. Like, Toe will just sit next to him and hang out with him all day long. Nobody messes with each other. Everybody gets along. So you're so pretty with your blue baby eyes. All right, let's go. See, look at that. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> hey, yo. Hello, <laughs> buddy. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Hello. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey. Thanks. So what are you doing, bro? You building things on your own? Wow. Uh, this is my progress so far. Oh, jeez. Whoa, dogs. Yeah, one piece of wood. I've hung it up and took it down probably seven times. So you're just gonna put the wood on here and then yeah, wood chicken wire in the three. window? Yeah, and then maybe some chicken oh. wire zip ties. Dude, that thing healed real good. Let me see your tat, bro. Dang, look at that thing by Randy. Gee, that thing is sick. We're getting there, man. God dang. Up slowly, man. All right, what I really came for. Let's go say, dude, this thing looks awesome right? what how freaking cool is that little foot dude hey bro do you remember me yeah. how, you, how you doing dude oh wow you're crazy bob what's up dude hey sir how are you bro benny oh. shut up penny so once you got everything escape proof, all you gotta do now is you gotta make one of these little folders. So this is a toxicology report of everything that I have. So anything that you plan on keeping venomous wise, you have to have toxicology reports on them. So that way you know exactly where everything is from. Um, you also has like, yeah, venom effects, clinical effects. It's gonna tell you all about the snake. And then it's also going to tell you about all the anti-venom that you have to take if you were to get bit by such animals. So check this out. So if you get bit by a copperhead, boom, back right here has the anti-venom that you need if you were to actually get bit. But hopefully we don't need it. Crofab. Crofab is very popular. Use it for a lot of different things. All right, I'm going to work. Woo. I'm going to take my... Uh, my stuff with me. Yep. I'll see you there in a little bit. Bye. All right. Everyone go wish Alex good luck. We're off to work, guys. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day. Hope you enjoyed this video. I got to go to work. Tattoo. I'm making a tattoo video. So stay tuned. All right. Love you. Later. Goodbye, guys.